You guys come and come to the stage. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Give it up for Mark Karski. What's going on guys? Um, so I'm gonna be a little late today, but I was super anxious about going. Like I like didn't want to go. Like this, I'm doing all new material, so um, it's gonna probably bomb, right? So I'm not excited for that, but like I'm just gonna try and just have fun with it for once. Type shit, because I kind of take it like super seriously. Uh, and like I'm really hard on myself and stuff and some people have been noticing that but like I just get super anxious about it Especially because it's new and like all that shit um, But yeah, I'm glad I'm going I'm glad I didn't just give in to the anxiety and stuff like that uh, But we'll see so I'm gonna talk about like I might talk about how my friend had a pistol in high school it was like normal and how I like pointed it at my friend and stuff and he got pissed or whatever And then I talk about like these gang members that stayed at my place in college Just trying to do more personal stuff and just stuff that talks about me and stuff And I gotta edit. Oh, that was close to a car for them close to a car accident. Jesus Christ um, But yeah, hopefully like so this is a couple weeks after what I'm talking about But I haven't like put out a it's Thursday right now and I haven't put out the last comedian episode. So the comedian, I'm on about to post episode four, uh, and this is going to be episode six, I think. So only like the sixth time doing stand up, like when we're back at it. So um, ex I'm trying to get excited for it, and I think I will. I think I, I just got to go over my shit, I guess, and hopefully I make it there. But I'll be like. 15 minutes late-ish, but doesn't that's not that's too big of a deal, but okay. Love you. Mwah. Hopefully it, I don't die All right, yo, what's going on, guys? How you doing? This is episode six of uh, fucking The Comedian. This is the podcast portion of it. Um, if this is the first one you're seeing, you're like, whoa, why'd it go to that? Well, this is right now me. Uh, I just reviewed my set I did last night. It is December 3rd, so... Oh, this is dead. Okay, I think it's December. Let me see. Does this... Yeah, December 3rd. Um... I'm correct. So last night, December 2nd, I uh, did stand-up. So that comes after the podcast portion. So uh, if you want to like skip ahead to that, you can. I put that later in because that's probably what people want to see. And watch time is very important. So, uh, but I just watched it. Um, main thing is I, I need to punch it up a lot more. Ob I think that's pretty obvious. I need to add more jokes and stuff. Um, I figured, I think I, I, I like talking about this. There's a lot to the story. There's a lot I could have added on. There's a lot I missed. There's a lot I forgot. Like when I say um, the gang members, like, you know, gang members are ticklish. Like I had gang members stay at my place in college for uh, a weekend. And I, I have like so many, I have a bunch of stories about that. And that's what I was writing about at first. But then I was like, oh, fuck. And then I started talk did the pistol thing. Cause that's, I was just trying to do stuff that's vulnerable or not, not well, I was trying to do that. So I'm starting off light, scratching the surface of stuff about me or embarrassing things I've done. And so stupid to point a gun at somebody. You'll see when I talk about it. Uh, and I actually did that, but I, just the way I, um, I just kind of, I pretty much did just forget everything I had planned. I have written here. Um, we don't rise to the level of our expectations. We fall to the level of our training. Uh, I'm trying to figure out my training. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. I, I usually would, I used to write it, write it over and over again uh, and shit. And I don't know if that will work. I think me just saying it out loud or just thinking it, like that's what Mark Norman does. And like I can, that's when I come up with the best shit is when I'm just like think, like talking it out loud, I think. But that's, I was going to say embarrassing. It's not at all, but it's just like, I get, that's a weird thing to make yourself do. Talk out loud 
to write about stuff to make it funny it's, and then write down the funny stuff and then hopefully you remember it. But then you got to write down the funny stuff and then I write down in riff and then I'll write down the bullet points. And this has a bunch of bullet points, the whole fucking thing. I used every single line on this uh, little notepad, but I try and minimize the words as much, as much as possible, like gun in high school, guys in videos. Like I came up with that on the way there it was the, the pistol thing. Cause I was going to talk more about the pistol and stuff. Like uh, him saying that could have been like a loaded weapon and shit. And I'd be like, why, why would you give me a loaded weapon? Um, but I thought about the guys who teach you to defend against guns. Those guys are hilarious. So I want to like think about those guys a little bit more like how they're always wearing tight shirts. I didn't want to say that they're oily and look, that look like the rock. Like, that's not what I wanted to say at all. I wanted to talk more about their tight clothes and how like even the bulletproof vest is so fucking tight that you could see their tits. Hold up. I don't know why this is falling. This is being a real cunt right now. It's okay. All of this stuff is just expensive. Uh, I just love when it doesn't work. It's cool. Uh, so I just, I need to punch it up. I need to be better at remembering, right? I need to fucking uh, be less nervous on stage. I still am pretty nervous. Like I, I, I was having a lot of anxiety actually before going. I almost um, didn't go. To be honest with you, I didn't want to go. Like, I wanted to cry, to be real with you. I was so fucking, I was just anxious. That's what, like, anxiety is like, right? And um, at least some parts at some times. And, like, I was being super anxious. I didn't feel ready. Um, but, like, what I got to remember is it's, like, I go to the gym when I don't feel ready. And I don't, I, I, it didn't seem like I was just mailing it in. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, fucking, it didn't seem like I wasn't trying Um I was proud of myself for still going. I'm glad I went. This is my sixth time up uh, for, yeah, sixth time on stage, man. I need to get on stage more, but, like, now that I found out the thing I want to talk about, um, and there's a bunch of paths I can go down with it so it won't get boring, and I can figure out what paths are the funniest, and then work on this set and make it tight and all that shit. Um, so talking about, like, the gang members who stayed at my place, there's a lot of, about a lot in there. Um, if I see some of my friends this weekend from college, I'll ask them about it uh, so I can get their point of view as well. Man, that would be great, actually. That would be, I, I hit them up. Um, right now it's December. Th the last video that came out was November. It was the video was of November 8th. Um, I wish I was going up more so there could be more. Um, I've missed a couple nights. Uh, so there'd be more progress, but, um, just like, just like with the gym, you gotta ease into it. You gotta can't ramp it up. You can't do like five sets in a week right from the beginning. You'll get like, it's exhausting driving an hour. I'm going to be real with you. It is pretty exhausting driving an hour there, waiting a couple hours, waiting two hours to do a set and then driving home pretty much right after. Cause I was the last comedian. Well, there was one person after me, but, and I went short. I, uh, Forgot about some of the shit I wanted to talk about right away. I wrote down on the back what I forgot or I wrote down somewhere uh, stuff that I forgot right after I got off stage. But that's what this is about. That's why if I had like, if uh, what well, like, I don't think Chicago's like this, but when I hear about like New York comedians talk about how they would do like five or six sets a night, like imagine being able to like, be like, oh, okay, shit. Like, all right, I, that, that didn't, whatever, like that didn't go as well. I said shit I didn't want to say. I set it now into in front of an audience. I know a better idea of what route I want to go on. I'm going to think about it on the way to the next show. That'd be so cool. I don't even think Chicago's like that. Maybe you could get two sets in. The earliest some start is like, I, I remember like five. So you could do like that and then go to another one that's late. I might start um driving out uh, to the city once I start doing stuff. Once I start consistently doing stand-up out here. I'm going to go out to Chicago and do it there. Like just drive out to it and then hopefully move back to the city for a little bit, do a little bit of Airbnb uh, action and be right where all the stand up is and just have my bike and just bike to each my, my electric motorcycle. That's right. Um, so what else? I just applied for a, um, a hosting gig. There's this one they posted on the comedy, uh, group I'm on on Facebook. Only reason I have a Facebook is for my Facebook group. So if you're on Facebook, go fo follow Winebox Poppy too, T-O-O. -O. Um, and I'm in some 
comedy group so I can see where the fucking shows are at uh, to do open mics and stuff. Um, and then somebody posted about a hosting gig, a paid hosting gig. And I was like, I'll do that. I could, that'd be great to get better on stage to have a, like, it's just kind of, I, I have all of that behind me. Like it's like a trivia thing. Like they want you to host trivia, but they also want you to be funny and shit like that. So it would just be a lot of riffing and stuff like that and playing with the audience and the people. Uh, I think I'd be good at that to be honest. So it's like once or twice a week and they pay and I'm like, all right. And I think it's in the city. So I'm cool with that. That'd be fun. So I applied for that fingers fucking cross. I was like my YouTube channel. I've been doing that for four years. Check that out. I'm energetic and I just started stand up. Hopefully the new stand up doesn't make you hate me. If I hate me, like they don't see and go, oh, he's fucking terrible. But uh, like I heard, I was listening to Louis CK stand up yesterday and he was talking about how like for the first like five years, he just, he hated it. At least for the first two years. Or, no, like, he definitely said two years he hated it. But he said for like the first five years, he was like bombing and shit. And I think like you bomb no matter what. Like, like, even if you get laughs and stuff, um, it's not going to be like, like somebody was just, I was just, Sam Morell was just talking about it. He's like, the open mics is like a bunch of comics in the crowd, right? And all of us, we all are like, we want to be supportive and stuff, but like, I don't laugh most of the time because I know where they're going. Like, we know, like, I know where they're going. A lot of people know what you're about to say or where you're going. They know the mechanics of it. They know what you're trying to do and shit like that. But an audience, they know when you stop talking, that's the laughing point and l- laughter around you makes you laugh and stuff like that. Obviously, I've never done it for an audience. I, that's just what Sam Morrell said and stuff. Not straight verbatim, but like he's great. To me, he's one of those. He's so amazing with like hecklers and people say shit to him. Oh, man. I, I think that's going to be one of my strengths. Like when I talk with the audience and stuff, um, I feel really comfortable when I talk to people in the audience and ask them questions. Like one time on stage, I think episode four or five, this guy, I asked the guy who was just on stage before me, he talked about there's a thing going around where people are throwing shit in people's faces as a prank or whatever and filming it. And I was like, I so asked if that was true. And it feels good asking people in the crowd stuff. I makes me comfortable. I don't know. But yeah, I just need to punch up the whole thing and I need to get the set correct. You know, I don't, I, I don't want to forget stuff. So... That's the main thing from the focus. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on this set. I like it. Um, there's a lot of, when I'm looking at it, there's a lot of potential, like a lot of routes I can go. A lot of potential with it for how I see it right now. Uh, I'm going to try and see if there's any open mics in the city because I'm going to Chicago tonight to stay at my cousin's to turn up and shit. But I'm going to see if there's a, if I get a spot in, in the city really quick or something. I don't know, but I don't want to make, I don't know how long these podcast segments should be. I think this is about, you know, just get my piece out and then let you guys see what I would, what I just broke down. You guys can now see and maybe have a better idea for it when things come up. Like when I'm looking at the thing, when I look at this, I was thinking about this yesterday. When I look at my writing, it all turns into like Latin. I just look at it. I'm like, Oh fuck. It's all like, blah, 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 blah. I can't even read it. I don't I'm like, none of this adds up. This doesn't make sense. Is this algebra? Uh, it just becomes not English going on stage. Like it's really like you get a newfound um, respect for it, obviously, but like you really find out how hard it is. That's the only way to find out how hard it is, is to do it more than um, more than once for sure. Do it more. I would say more than three times. And that'll probably show you how fucking hard it is. You could accidentally be, funny right or you could be so nervous that you have like that it works type shit i say everybody should try it but like first time i said that people were like don't tell people to try that that could really sc- emotionally scar people like that. what the number one fear i get that is public speaking but like if it's gonna emotionally scar you bro i don't think so i think because you're gonna you're gonna do it and you're gonna find out you're fine that's kind of how you you know facing your fears type shit but um it's kind of, I guess, I like that it like makes you feel something and it's exciting and there's kind of like a risk, kind of, right? And there's, um, t- I would say there's actually a large reward, not a, mi- a small reward. I, even like just the reward of doing it and progressing the material or like just saying the material out loud and shutting into them. I can just get, getting more experience every second you hold the microphone and stuff. Cause I'm still not even used to whole, like, look, I'm used to this. The microphone is held and I get to hear me, right? I, I can hear me through the speakers, but it's way fucking different. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna, 
probably wrap it up here. I'm going to try and edit the episode four and have that come out. Uh, hopefully, I don't, I don't have a really have a reason why I shouldn't, except for if laziness takes over. But we'll see. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. I might turn this into a like just had the audio podcast go out as well. Like just have the audio version of this to be able to be listened to. Let me know what you guys think about that. I might start doing it before you guys hear this, but I probably didn't actually. I'm lazy. So let me know. But I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Mwah. Catch you on the next one. Uh, uh, by the way, if I didn't put in a warning in the beginning, this is hard to watch. The stand-up you're about to see, all every time I do stand-up, it's going to be hard to watch. It's not going to be like, all right, this is going to go- is good. No, nah, I'm showing everything. It's everything from the beginning. Like, And it's going to be bad for a long time. And I'm totally cool with it. So hope you are too. <laughs> okay, I love you. Mwah. Give it up for your next. This is the last comic of the night. We fucking made it, guys. Yeah. Hell yeah, we got one last fucking go for one last comic. Yeah. Hell yeah, give it up for Mark Korski. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, guys? How you guys doing? Yeah. Last comic, okay. No pressure. All right. So, my friend uh, in high school he got a gun, right? But that was before like school shootings were invented. So like, it wasn't really a thing. Like you could just tell people, yo, I got a gun. And they'd be like, that's tight as fuck, can I see it? And that's how I've seen every single gun that I've held. They're just like, yo, I have one. I'm like, can I see this shit? And they're like, absolutely, man, here you go. And just put it in my hand. Uh, I, when I first held my first pistol, I've only held two, but like when he handed me this in, the, in high school, I pointed the gun at my other friend that was in the room, and I was like, pew, pew. And he took the gun back so fucking quickly, like those guys in the, uh, have you seen the videos of those guys who teach you how to defend from a gun? (laughs) That shit will work. He did that shit so quick. But like those guys, man, they're wearing, everything is so tight that they're wearing. They got like a tight t-shirt, they're oily. It's like The Rock if he just took steroids and ate his cheat meals. I don't think those videos are going to translate very well, though. Like, how to stop a gun if it's at your temporal lobe. Ooh, wait, hold up. He's taking pictures. One second. <laughs> I love you. I appreciate you. <laughs> I think that dude, like, the guys who make the videos of how to defend from a gun are just giving out free game. Like, have you seen how these people are just mugging you at farther than an arm's reach? Now, like, they're mugging people at the dinner table and just, you're just going to hand them your watch. You're going to fucking... Try and get a dude's gun? That was a great joke. Um, <laughs> did you guys know that gang members are ticklish? I dead ass, I dead ass saw a gangster disciple tickle a Latin king, and he, all, he said, all he said was, yo, stop it, fool. Yo, and so, so calmly. Like when I get tickled, I get fucking pissed. This dude must be a murderer to take it that lightly, because that is, the main thing that gangsters hate is being disrespected and homosexual behavior. <laughs> and tickling is pretty gay, so... I'm gonna end it on that. Tickling's gay as fuck. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Appreciate you. Mark Karski. <laughs> Give it time back to the room. Okay, what's going on, guys? Uh, just got done with the set. It's 10 o'clock. Um, I feel like it went good. I mean, like, uh, just gotta punch it up more, add more jokes. I forgot a couple things as well. So we'll just see how that goes after that. So, like, <clears throat> I'm just still trying to get comfortable on stage and everything like that. That might sound like an excuse and stuff, but um, that's the main thing is just to get comfortable on stage. I'm still getting scared, super nervous beforehand. Um, not super, I guess not nervous, but like, at least it's exciting and you're feeling something like that, you know? And I'm glad I go up, I'm proud of going up, especially when I was anxious today and like really, really did not want to go. Like I was very close to being like, fuck it, I'm just gonna, mental health, uh, uh, self-care, treat yourself, like nah, I needed to go to this, I need to get out uh, and go to these things. I need to talk to more people, I think. Uh, he said I was the last comic tonight. There was actually somebody after me. Um, and I don't fill out the whole time if I can't, like, I forgot part of what I was supposed to talk. Like, I forgot a couple things, a couple of tags and b- parts of the bit that I will definitely try, 
try and cover. I want to work. I like this five minutes that I'm working on. That's what I was trying to look for was something I could work on that I don't mind talking about, I guess. And this can go down a couple different avenues and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to build on this one for a little bit and see how that goes. Um, and then once I get comfortable, probably switch it up or whatever. But um, yeah, as long as I'm not feeling the feeling of bombing, like I'm going to bomb for a, like quite a while. Uh, that's just what happens type shit. Like I was even hearing Louis CK. He's like, I fucking hated it in the beginning. He's like, man, I bombed for like five years straight. It's just, it's just what happens, especially, I mean, like it's, you can't really, the best you could do is make 10 people laugh. There's like 10 comics in there, you know? Um, so it's really more just about getting comfortable and not uh, just getting rid of the, you're never going to be get rid of the fear. I heard, I heard you're always going to be like nervous or anxious, but that's good. Um, but just getting comfortable on stage, you know, I still, that part still freaks me out. But uh, another day in the books. Maybe, because I'm going to Chicago tomorrow, I think. I might maybe do a set there. We'll see. But that was set six or seven. So I think it was six. Uh, I like it. I love it. I'm glad I'm doing this. I'm happy of it. I'm proud of it. And I just want to get good at it. Like when I see people who are doing, who do stand up well, like uh, especially Sam Morell, like I see him a lot, like how he controls the room, how. If, somebody heckles it's just amazing this art form when you see people doing it well is just it's so motivating it's it's unreal uh because like it open mics and stuff no offense again anybody's watched this but like everybody's bad right like there's nobody who's like holy shit like you're not i don't know like you're not going to see any like professional type of sam or else like an expert like and just seeing from trying it and then it gives you a whole new perspective you know and that's kind of what i want to show i want to show the uh the making of, you know, nobody really knows what it goes into tape, what it takes to goes into making a bit and stuff like that. I got to show more, you know, more of me writing, but like, I figured, I think I figured out, I just, if I just say it out loud, that's how I can write. I don't think I write that well. Um, I was worried about not being prepared and not having written well. Um, I just got to add more jokes into my stories and stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. And let's fucking get ready for the next one. Yeah, I can't wait.